What's going on everybody? My name is Chris the Chaos Gamer and welcome to the UPBA Season 1 Week 3 um, Team Analysis So, one thing No, there isn't a Week 2, not yet The reason why there isn't yet is because we had some problems uh, with uh, what was it? We had uh, we had a, a team we had we had a team leave, and the person who took over, um, it was like at the tail end of week two, like she she joined up literally the Sunday that the match was supposed to uh, be finished. So we've postponed the match with her, and uh, we went straight on to week three. So week two is happening, is just not happening yet. Uh, I think we said that the battle was going to take place in between um, when the regular season matches are finished and before the playoffs start. So that's that. So UPBA week three, we fought the... Uh, Toronto Star Raptors and the coach for Toronto Star Raptors is Garrick LeBruce um, yeah I'm just double checking yeah Garrick LeBruce who's the uh, the coach for the uh, Toronto Star Raptors so <laughs> the match itself could have went better um, but I'm not gonna say how how it. I, I even though I kind of just stated how what the outcome of the match was, but um, you kind of need to watch the replay in order to uh, get a better feel of how the match actually went. There was definitely some misplays on my part. 110% was my fault by a loss. Um, anyway, so the team that I brought against. Garrick, we're just gonna we're just gonna hop right on in. Um, so first, I brought Cthulhu, or, uh, the Gastrodon, with holding life orb or leftovers. Sorry, not not life orb, leftovers. With storm drain in its ability, uh, rock and lose earthquake, scald, recover, and sludge bomb. With max EVs and HP and uh, yeah, max HP. Yeah, max EVs and HP. Uh, 126 in both defense and special defense with the rest in attack. Uh, not really much to say here other than the fact that I basically had him as a um, as a wall. And uh, and just you know take hits and do as much damage as possible and. Recovers there to keep to keep them there as long as possible and all that good wonderful stuff um, Next is Liberty our bronze on also holding leftovers with the ability of levitate um, With trick room gyro ball toxic and earthquake with max EVs and HP special defense and the rest in attack um, A lot of the mons I picked for week three, uh, we're fairly slow, except for two. Except for two of them. Um, so I figured having a trick room set, especially for Gastrodon, um, would make things a little bit um, will make things a little bit easier for Gastrodon as well as Bronzong itself. Um, but anyway. Uh, and levitate, of course, you know, uh, so that a lot, so that uh, ground type moves can't hit it, and yeah. Next up is Orochi, the High Dragon, holding the choice specs, but also levitate as, as its ability with Draco Meteor, U Turn, Dark Pulse, and Fire Blast. Basically, the re uh, the move set that I gave him 
coverage out the wazoo. <laughs> Draco Meteor, obviously, because big red button, big red button Draco Meteor hits very hard, of course, at the cost of um, special attack. Um, but with the but with the choice specs, it makes things a hell of a lot easier to um, um, to it, it, it hits very hard. Uh, U-turn in case of a. Um, I have U-turn there just in case he swaps out to something that I can U-turn, uh, something that can take uh, ba basically potential switch-ins. Dark Pulse because of its high crit rate and uh, coverage and Fire Blast because Fire Blast. <laughs> and I also gave him Max EVs and Special Attack and Speed uh, with, four, uh, with the rest in Special Defense. Next up is Frostbite, our Weavile, holding the Life Orb with Pressure as its ability with Knock Off, Icicle Crash, Ice Shard, and Low Kick. Basically the exact same Weavile set that I used in Week 1, with Max EVs and Attack and Speed in the rest of Special Defense. Um, knock Off, because Knock Off <laughs> with Weavile with Knock Off and Life Orb hits very hard, especially where it's also Stab. Um, Icicle Crash because it's Icicle Crash. There are uh, 20 or 30 percent chance of flinch, and um, with only a 90 accuracy, and also hits very hard with stab as well. Ice Shard for priority and uh, low kick uh, for basically things that might um, that might hinder him a little bit. Um, but the problem, the biggest problem while I'm, I've always had it with Weavile, as, as awesome as Weavile is, like, definitely my second favorite Pokemon next to the Trico line. Um, the one problem I have with Weavile is that it is very frail, it doesn't last very long in battle. Uh, like, I'm doing a personal run in, uh, Pokemon Sun in the Battle Tree, and it, I say the most turns that it lives. Uh, that it lives in the battle tree is maybe three at most <laughs> but it hits very very hard and i love weeball like that but that's the set i had for weeball next up is canada or Adeno, uh holding the light uh holding leftovers with Re uh, regenerator as as its ability with wish heal bell thunder wave and return with max evs and hp and special defense and the rest in defense Canada, or Adeno, whatever you want to call him, is our healer. So, Wish and Heal Bell. Uh, wish for HP recovery. Um, heal Bell for status recovery. Thunder Wave in case, um, just in case I need to slow something down. And I had the choice of also running Knock Off. Excuse me. Running Knock Off on Adeno, but I opted in for Return because I figured... Um, because where Weavile is basically good, uh, was basically going to be our main knockoff user, I figured Return might have had a better chance of um, dealing it more damage than Knockoff would, especially where uh, Return also gets stabbed because you know it's a normal type move. Um, so that was what I ran on Adeno. Um, next up, or last, <laughs> lastly, is Husqvarna a Rotom Mo. Holding choice specs with Levitate, with Volt Switch, Thunderbolt, Leaf Storm, and Trick. With 248 in HP, Max in Special Attack, and 8 in Special Defense. Husqvarna, um, basically, I don't exactly remember why, because this battle actually, because... Uh, I'm just gonna say here the week three battle took place a little while ago. It took place two weeks ago um, So I don't exactly remember what Garrick brought as well You'll see this all in the replay anyway, so I'm pretty sure that once you see it in the replay you you can pr probably Figure out why I ran the moves that I did uh, Volt switch obviously because well, I can tell you I can tell you now volt switch is simply because in case something were to um, in case I need something to switch out to 
Um, Thunderbolt, probably in, besides Thunder, the strongest uh, Thunder type move that Rotom Mo has access to. Um, Leaf Storm, because it's Leaf Storm and Trick. <laughs> I should have used it. I don't think I did, but I should have because uh, Trick swaps the items. <laughs> so I probably could have grabbed uh, like a Life Orb or something, and they would have been forced to just use the one move or swap or switch out, force a switch. So anyway, so that was who I ran for week three. Oh, I know this is a bit more casual. Like this was a, like a little bit more casual draft or team analysis than what I usually do. That's because I, <laughs> I just finished recording uh, Pokemon Snakewood. And um, and I'm, that and I'm actually more giddy to recording more videos now that uh, the horrors of what I had to endure for the past two weeks is for the most part over. I'm not going to get into it. Anyway, I'm probably... <laughs> oh my. Anyway, so... I'm gonna about to. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop talking, and I'm just gonna show you guys the replay of me versus uh, Garrick the Bruce of the Toronto Star Raptors. So I will see you guys next week. <laughs>